And that doesn't need, even need any commentary. Well, hello there, and we're back. And this is going to be episode 25. And this is the part one of finishing the landscaping. And as you can see, it's a beautiful night out. And we're just going to relax and look at the night of our newly landscaped house. Yeah, right. All right. So since we last left, I did some more tweaks on the deck. Let's go visit said tweaks. And completely changed the lighting and the water system. I now have power coming into the house and running water. So we, we utilized Pipeworks and Misacons again. And look at that. Look at that waterfall. Finally got it under control. So let's go take let's go let's go take a tour real quick and walk around. So there there is our little our hot tub and we have glowstones for lights because I could power them. I I don't have a switch yet, but we can power them. So let's come over here. Got a nice stairs off the deck. And let's look at what we did here. I did. I have lighting and pipes. And these pipes feed the water from an underground cavern which comes off of the off of the ocean. Way yonder off that way. So we're going to go visit that. So these are all glowstones. I can turn them on and off. And the uh, water is all fed from underground, from the same source, underground. So let's get out of here. Let's go look at the other part of the house. Other additions, I we got this nice little trellis here with vegetation. All the vegetation over here is drone. Hi, Mr. Bunny. We added a new entrance for the deck. Really cool. Made everything nice and safe, except for, if you notice, that's one heck of a drop. Got to put something up there. What I haven't finished is this backyard area. This is going to be... I'm, I'm going to have to go all out on that. That's going to be a really cool courtyard. So let's go in. And... Go to the elevator. I still haven't done... I anything on the inside go in the elevator and it didn't take there we go utility room so this is where all the fun begins we have the piping and electricity for our water system we have an emergency valve this will turn off all the water I tried getting rid of all the blocks and um, so I can control the water. The pipes run all the way down. I was lucky enough to find, and there's the electricity all the way down. I wish there was a better way to do that. This is the outside. I can actually go through here, and I'm going to be adding solar. So these two blocks here literally lead to the outside world. And here is our little cage system leading to this vast underground cavern which was just sitting there all alone so we have our scuba gear on you have to imagine that yes and before anybody says anything I know that this is a pristine area with air and so I'm taking the air and the fresh water and I have torches down here so go figure but that will be that will be taken care of so on here, you, you can turn on and off the pump. Some lighting and there's, a, there's our 
hydro generator. I could not think for a second there. That's producing the power for the house. Part of the power. The other part is solar. And if we come through here, this cavern, and this was natural, leads to the outside. And that leads off into the ocean. So that worked out perfectly. This was all map gen. I had nothing to do with that. So it comes through the wall here. It comes up. That was not very cool. I have two hydro generators. And it comes up. Goes into this little area here. This wall over here is the outside lighting. And this is the... Um, there's a part of the outside lighting and the uh, spacer. The isolator that keeps the water from coming in. And you can see there's blue dots on the pipes, meaning I have water pressure. I turn that off. The blue dots go off. That all works. Then we come out here. Yay. I'm really, really happy with the way that turned out. Let's go out on our deck. So the power, the power comes up and it feeds the glowstones in the hot tub. And then, like we said, generates the power for the waterfall. And I had some amazing um, <laughs> problems with the water, trying to get the water to do exactly. You can't control water. You can try your best. As you can see here, it's... It, it's right at the edge of, of just flowing over and causing a catastrophe. And then this area over here, na it naturally, hey, Mr. Penguin, it naturally feeds into this, which feeds out to the ocean. And then let's go explore. This is the other side, which is really, really cool. Put a boat in. And then this is the other area of the house. There's the one side of the house with the drop off. I wonder where that goes. Nowhere. And I do have an auxiliary hydro, hydro generator here, which I'm going to be feeding into the power supply into the other one. So it actually, it actually works. And then at nighttime, it gives a real nice glow. To the water. Ooh, hate doing that. So it's coming along nicely. I still have to figure out what to do with the top floors. And planted some more trees, but they should pop up sometime in the video. You'll see them pop there. No, that's not one of them that I planted. Oh, well. Usually when you walk right past them, they, they'll, they'll just pop up. Here's one of them. And then I, the only other thing I have to do is figure out how to get to the house. So we have all this area back here, but I don't want to go, I don't want to go too crazy because I'm, I do want to do other things with this world and property. So we're far enough. Hi bees. We're far enough away. So 
just gotta do something with those ups. The, the second floor windows are the ones that make it look like a building or like a business building more than a than a mansion. Hmm. Oh, hey, I gotta quit jumping off like that. Let's see what we can we can mess up here. More bunnies. And another cow. And Mr. Cow. But this is really cool. I just, I just ended up sitting there tweaking and... And this is going to be left open. I'm not going to put a roof on this. So you get the beautiful view of our own created waterfall. I don't know if these if these animals have um, if they despawn, but I was wor I was playing around with the world, and there was a rabbit, and the rabbit jumped up, and all of a sudden it just it it exploded. Don't know why. It just did it. So that looks really cool. There's this little gap here, but I'm not gonna not gonna worry about that right now. You can't really see it until I just pointed it out. <laughs> so And then there's the cat going to play in the water. And the cat cats don't like water, but yet it will sit there and it will kill itself in the water. And there's no reason because my world is perfect. See, he's gone. My world is perfect. There should not be any reason why an animal would want to jump off into the water and expire itself. Let's see if this bunny will explode. Here, we'll have 15 minutes of me watching a bunny. Come on, Mr. Bunny. Explode. <laughs> He's not going to do it. Everybody's watching me. The minute the minute I pan away, he's gonna explode. I kid you not. Okay, let's go back. Oh, he's still there. But that was entertainment. What'd you guys do? Watch the bunny explode. He did it on its own. But that is a cool view. I want that view. I wanna build that. I wanna become a mega billionaire and just build it. All right, so that's how we did that. Let's go play somewhere else. Because now I gotta furnish the place. I gotta figure out where to put the walls and the rooms, turn it in, and then, you know, put all the other stuff. See, the, I tried, I was playing, I was trying to um, get the more trees mod to work. It keeps coming up with very specific errors in um, two parts where it's something about the uh, leaf decay and it, it doesn't like the value it's getting. So I tried messing around with it because I am a hobbyist programmer who thinks he knows what he's doing and could not get it to work. Why go through that door when you have an automatic door? Yes, we do. Not much has changed up here. I haven't had haven't had time. Just making this place look cool. Let's go out here. And the new trees that I planted will fill this area in. It just looks cool. This is just an, a very neat place. That you'd want to live. A postcard picture world. Picture perfect world. As a matter of fact, take a screenshot. Why not? But 
But so far we have, so far we have everything. Everything's turning out pretty cool. Oh. I don't like mice in my world. Oh. More plants. Hey, look, look what we have here. We have lighting. So we, we figured out the problem with when, if you have that block in your inventory and you color it, when you use that block at like every block that you place has that color. So that's why, you know, so many issues with the, uh, the color blocks. So what I ended up doing is I threw those, uh, glow lights in the glowstones, And what I'm going to do is right now I just got a blinky plant powering them. <laughs> So what 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 I am end up going to end up doing is somewhere over here I'm going to put a light switch. But I want a push button. So I'm going to put a push button on the wall and I'm going to hide up in the ceiling the latching circuit. So when you push the push button, it will turn on the lights. And when you push the push button again, it will turn off the lights. That's how it's supposed to work. So this area is coming along nicely because I'd like to expand this area and do a little bit more with it other than just the same old um, let's just throw a bunch of uh, home decor home decor stuff in here which is awesome but I want to start really getting some builds that go further So we do have, like in that house over there, we do have the, the man-made waterfall. So what, and what it's actually doing is, that's something that you would probably see. Well, it, it, it fountains. But I'm actually taking the water from one source and just sending it to another source. There's another egg. Let's see if that egg trick works. Oh, it doesn't work. I've only been able to do it once where you throw the egg and it, 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 a chicken will appear. Or not a, not a chicken. Um, a, uh, a young, uh, yeah. What was that? That was a glitch. So it's really cool how we utilize or use nature to make to, to just make things beautiful. And I'm using the the like I said the air and the water from that cavern to to um, provide utilities for the house. And that's in real life. And then use solar and battery backup. <sighs> so since I'm such a, um, what do you call those people? Environmentalist. <laughs> Let's go take the Porsche out for a drive. Yes, in my perfectly pristine world, I have supercars. So now, one of the things that I have to do is I have to think of landscaping for that backyard area. And, oh, the sun's going down. I want to get over there. So, and... This whole area behind the new, the new mansion... I want, I want to, if, if you go back into my episodes, there was that, there was that, um, that one world where it had, it was all messed up the water, something happened in it and it had a problem, but it had this gorgeous courtyard and garden. And that's what I want to try to recreate. So I'm going to go revisit that courtyard 
just to see what the patterns and how they did the uh, what blocks they used for for the garden. And I want to recreate that and I want to put a fountain. So as we watch the beautiful, beautiful sunset, look at that. That is gorgeous. Even for a game. And it's nighttime. Yes, it is. And why I'm talking like that, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> yes. People think I'm crazy. Well, that's beside the point. But coming back here. So I really want to do something with something really nice and subtle with this area. Make it look really. Um, I want to use. I want to go outside the box of the normal stuff that I use. And really try to create a beautiful garden park. With a fountain. Not a big fountain, but a nice small marble fountain. And. Really do this area up nice. So there. Look at look at the surrounding area. How peaceful. And I still haven't done anything with those tree houses. That's next. So, on that note, we're going to go back to the front. And we have that, that gorgeous sunset. And no better way to end... Oh, there's my warning beacons. They work. No better way to end the video except for with that sunset and a closing shot of our three quarters of the way completed modern mansion. Now with water. <laughs> with more water. So, uh, if you like what you see here, please uh, click the like button and subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you very much. New videos um, coming weekly. And um, there's nothing more to say. Thanks for watching. Everybody have a great evening, afternoon, or day whenever you're watching this. Thanks for, uh, for visiting. Goodbye.